Welcome to the demonstration of the Calbay Systems PC Base XY Plotter. This software can also be used as a time based recorder for two channels and also as an automated tester. What we're going to focus on in this video is the XY functions. So we're plotting two traces, one against the other, X and Y, and you'll see a cursor in the screen here showing that plot. We're not logging data currently, and I'll show you that in a second. But it's just showing us the system is operating and we're within the scale of the boundaries. So I'm going to take a quick look around the XY plotter software. So it's in various sections. The first section is the pull down menus at the top here. So we have a file menu where we can load a trace that we saved previously. We can save this trace that we're recording currently. We can save it as a JPEG and we can do a PDF export. We can, of course, be an XY plotter, print this out onto a printer on the network or local printer and you can select the printer function here. On the edit menu we can delete a trace so if we don't like the trace we can delete it. We can clear the test details which I'll explain a bit later on and we can reset the axes at any point. So if we do get in trouble on the screen with the, uh, the scaling we can just use the reset axes functions. On the tool side we can do an automatic and instant null. We can clear the graph we can set the maximum plots. The default value is 20, but we can set that to as many as we like. Uh, you can calibrate the data acquisition card. You can create a new test. You can edit a test, and you can change the system password. We'll explain the testing uh, in another video. Uh, we can do overlay colors. We can change those. We can s apply a filter, a digital filter, to the front end, so we can get rid of noise on the system. You can define the frequency that you want on there. And we can define the scale precision. At the moment we're in X versus Y mode, but again you can select X or Y versus time here also. We also have some calculations built into the XY plotter. We can calculate rise time, the mean and peak to peak values of the trace, and we'll show you those in a second. And we also have a full online help. So the whole help menu is uh, available online. Uh, so if you do get into trouble and you want to find out how to do something, you can see everything here using the help function. Along the bottom of the uh, XY plotter software, you've got controls. So we have a mode function, so we can select X or Y versus time. We're currently in X versus Y. We have probably the most important button, which is the pen up and pen down button, which we start collecting data and saving data as a log file. We can change our scaling of the X input and the Y input here. Uh, we have an overlay function. I'll explain that shortly. We can change the sample rate of the board. So currently with sampling at a thousand samples a second but you can set a hundred or ten uh, you can change the plot color so if you wanted to change the plot color of the trace we could do that also here and to get the calculations you can click on the cal cursor button here also on the right hand side of the screen we have some uh, information associated with the test that you can define uh, you can select a, a test and we'll go into this in more detail in, in another video uh, that when you were doing the automated testing but we can put a park number in here, so I can call this actuator, oh, let's change this, actuator 1. And we can put a serial number associated with this as well. And you can put an operator name so that when you save this away, you have a record of who is taking the test. You also can uh, get the date and time of the trace, and this will happen automatically when you put the pen down button down. And you can put some comments in here also. So these comments again get saved along with the trace so that you can uh, provide information about where the test was done, any other parameters associated with the test that you had. So let's go ahead and get started then. So the first thing we're going to do is to check to see whether our scaling is in auto scaling or not. In this case, because we can see that the trace is going to be within limits, we can turn the auto scaling off. And we'll just click on the pen up and pen down button. You'll see automatically it's put in the date and time that this logging was started. And you'll see it's now plotting one uh, sine wave versus the other. And this will continue to run until we put the pen up button, as you would find on a normal pen recorder. So we'll click on that, and you can see here our trace. Now, if we're interested in looking at this in more detail, unlike traditional pen recorders where you can just get the paper copy, being software, we can do quite a lot with this. So we have some cursor functions in here. So I can click on my zoom function and I can zoom in on a particular area of interest. Continue to click on that. 
I can do other things as well. So I can select, for instance, a section of this trace. If I was interested in looking at this in more detail, I can highlight that. And you can see that uh, uh, what we can then do is we can reset the axes if we find that these are it's difficult to read on here. What we can now do is we can save this trace. So I'll save the trace and I'll call it uh, demo3 as a CSV file. And what I can also do here uh, is set it as a save it as a PDF or not. So um, I'll just say no at this point. So basically, we save that trace away that we can have a look at that as well. And uh, that'll be a standard CSV format with all of this information on the right hand side saved away. So let's have a look at some calculations then. I'll put my calib calculation cursor on here. And it now brings up two cursors. And uh, what I'll do is I'll locate my cursors on a section of the trace I'm interested in measuring. And what we can then do is just go to my tools function and we'll calculate the peak to peak value and it displays result in the result peak to peak function at the top here. So thanks for listening. This is the first of a number of videos. This is the X versus Y time base overview and we'll go into more detail in further videos. So thank you for your time and I hope you enjoyed the demonstration. Thank you.